Before we progress with the series, I want to backtrack a little bit and discuss a little bit more in detail about if statements and specifically nesting your if statements, which is going to be when you have if statements inside of if statements or if else statements inside of if else statements. And it's a possible thing we can do, right? So I just want to show you guys exactly how we can do this. We're not really introducing anything new apart from that. So go ahead and create two variables inside of our main method. I'm going to go ahead and create the integer variable x and I'll sign this a value of five. I'll go ahead and create the integer variable y and I'll sign this a value of three. So these two variables created over here. I'm going to go ahead and make some if else statements. So we know if else statements are either going to display the first message inside of the if body, if your condition that you're going to have inside of these brackets is going to be true. If it is not true, it will be displaying the message inside of the else body, which will be following the if statement in a moment. So I'm going to write if x is greater than one, we'll go over here. I'm going to go ahead and write a output system out print line. I'm going to go ahead and say uh, your if condition is true right there. And we know that if we want to have the else, we can go ahead and write this at the end over here. So now we have our body for our else. You can put it like this if you want, or you can put it down here. It doesn't make a difference. Whatever is easier for you guys to read. I like to put mine right here. Um, so inside, you can put a body over here. And this is going to be the one that's going to be displaying if your x is not greater than 1, or the x variable is not greater than 1, which is our if condition. So you can say your if condition is false right there. And remember, we don't need to write a condition for the else body here, because we know that it's going to be whatever this is not right. So whenever x is not greater than one, you'll be using the code down here. So that's what we've seen so far with if else statements. Now we can actually go ahead and put if statements inside of if statements, which means we know that all of the code here, anything that's going to be inside of here will be skipped over if this condition is not true. So if you put an if statement inside of here, it will not even be considered if you do not have this first condition met. So let's go take a look at exactly how we can look at this. So we'll go down here and go ahead and make a new if statement, right? So I'm going to write if I'm going to go ahead and write y is greater than one as well. So I'm going to write this and we go and put another output in here. System out print line. And this is called a nested if statement. So say your nested if condition is true right there. So we're just going to take a look at exactly uh, what can happen with with this situation, right? Because we know that this if statement over here has it cannot be accessed as long as this here is true. So say we go ahead and run this, right? We have x is greater than one, which is true. And then we have y is greater than one. So we should expect that when we run this, we'll get both of the, the printouts being printed on our screen, your if condition is true, and your nested if condition is true. There we go, we have both things that are true. And that's awesome. Now, what if I were to go ahead and change this right over here, right now, suddenly, we have x is less than one, which is not true, right? So we're not gonna be able to access this code. And even though this is true over here, even though this nested if statement, which says that y is greater than one is true, we're not gonna be able to access it. And we go ahead and run this, we only get one uh, line that's printed out down here, which just says your if condition is false. So if you don't have the first access, if you can't access this part over here, well, you're not gonna be able to go ahead and access this if statement. And that's how nested if statements work. And you can make these go as in depth as you want. You can keep putting if statements inside of if statements, we can go ahead and try this out once more if you want. If uh, I'll make another variable in a sec, if z is greater than one, I'll put this. Let's go make the body over here. System dot out dot print line, your nested nested, if statement condition is true, whatever, right? it doesn't really matter what we write, we have right, right there. So say we were just really going uh, in depth here, we have everything written like this. Uh, now I can go ahead and make that variable z, I'm gonna call variable z, uh, integer z, I'm gonna call this 10 right there. Let's make it all neat and aligned. So now we see that we have, you know, these two things are true, right? Z is greater than one and Y is greater than one. However, X is not less than one. And if I were to go ahead and run this, we see that we still can't go ahead and access inside. However, if I were to go ahead and say, I change this, now we can see that we can access all three of them. And remember, you always have to look from, you know, the the most, the first one, right? The one that's really on the outside, and then you keep progressing inwards. Now, as soon as you can't progress inwards anymore, so say we were to go ahead and change this one over here, making this condition false, and this condition true, and this condition true. Now we see we're only gonna be able to get one, you're still just gonna be able to get this one. However, you're gonna stop right here, even though, you know, this one in, in here is, is true, you have to look, you have to work from out to in, right? We work out, this is true, this is not true. So that means we can not even take a look to see if this is true or not, you're screwed, but we still will be able to execute this up here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions regarding nested if statements or if statements in general, if else statements, leave them in the comment below. And we'll be taking a look at else if statements in the next video. So thanks for watching.